In this video, I'll show you how to build a contraption that allows you to precisely measure the foam generated during the Diet Coke and Mentos experiment. I call the contraption the Geyser Guide. Here, you can see me using the Geyser Guide to test the foaming that occurs in Cokes at different temperatures after adding a single Mentos candy to it. To start making your Geyser Guide, you'll need a vise, a one or two liter soda bottle, a tornado tube, a three quarter inch boring drill bit, a one and one eighth inch boring drill bit, and a drill. First, secure the bottle to the vise as shown. I like to clamp the vise down onto the bottle top with the lid on. Next, Attach the 1 and 1 8 inch boring drill bit to your drill. Once this is done, drill a hole in the bottom of the bottle. After doing this, I usually have to use a pair of pliers to remove the bottle top. Now we're going to use the 3 quarter inch boring drill bit to widen the hole in the tornado tube. It's very helpful to clamp the tornado tube in the vise when doing this. Once you've made the hole, drop a Mentos candy through the tube to make sure it can pass freely back and forth through the hole. If it can't, clamp the tube to the vise again and use the drill to widen the hole until the candy easily drops through the hole. Now it's time to add volume markings to the bottle. Attach the lid to the soda bottle and invert it. Then add water in 50 milliliter increments through the hole drilled in the bottle. After each addition of water, Use a marker to draw a line where the water levels off. Do this until the bottle is completely full. This step takes a lot of time, but it's worth it so that you can take foam volume measurements later on. After emptying the water out of the bottle, write the number that corresponds to the appropriate volume in milliliters for each line. After removing the bottle cap and securely attaching the tornado tube, the geyser guide is ready to go. I find I get much more consistent results if I control for how the Mentos candy is dropped into the soda. To do this, I use a 1 inch PVC pipe to deliver the Mentos candies into sodas. This method prevents the Mentos candy from rattling around the bottom of the geyser guide before dropping through the tornado tube. Alright, we're ready for our first experiment. I've got the geyser guide securely attached to the soda I want to test and the PVC pipe is inserted through the hole in the top of the geyser guide. Notice I have a running stopwatch next to the assembly. In goes the Mentos candy, and off goes the experiment. A graph similar to the one you see at the right can be made by taking video of the experiment as it runs and reviewing the video later on to record and graph the foam volume at different time increments. That's pretty neat, huh? When doing this experiment, make sure right after adding the candy that you remove the PVC pipe out of the geyser guide. Otherwise, you'll make a mess. The geyser guide is great for a whole bunch of different tests. I used it during a trip through the western United States where I tested the foaming ability of the Coke and Mentos experiment at elevations that ranged from below sea level in Death Valley to almost 11,000 feet in altitude on a mountaintop in Yosemite Park. Be sure to drop me a note in the comments if you build a geyser guide for your own tests on the Coke and Mentos experiment. Also, please be sure to let me know if you learn anything new while conducting your experiments. I'm always interested to learn something new about my favorite experiment, Diet Coke and Mentos.